we have 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance equals 1 over the focal length. Okay. Well, we're looking for the image distance, so we'll solve for the image distance. 1 over the image distance equals 1 over the focal length minus 1 over the object distance. So the image distance equals 1 over the focal length minus 1 over the object distance to the negative 1 power. Just solving for the image distance. The image distance then is going to be equal to 1 over the focal length, which was 2.5 centimeters, minus 1 over the image distance, which was 6.5 centimeters, all to the negative 1 power. Image distance, please. Four point oh six two five. Now that's going to be in centimeters because all of our uh, distances were in centimeters. And notice, as long as they're all in the same linear dimension, it doesn't really matter what it is. It could be micrometers; it doesn't really matter. Uh, so the image distance is going to be four point one centimeters with sig figs. And if you come to our ray diagram and measure, we should get approximately four point one centimeters. It's not going to be perfect. Mine actually looks like it's a slightly less than four centimeters. That's because clearly the ray diagram is just an approximation of what's going on. Now, from the image distance, we now can see one of our image characteristics as well. Which image characteristics can we characteristic can we see from the fact that we got our image distance to be 4.1 centimeter? Well, since Q is greater than zero, it's the part of the mirror. Uh, and therefore, because Q, the image distance is greater than zero, it's in front of the mirror, and therefore, that's not one of your image characteristics. It's real, right? The image characteristic is either, either virtual or real. Because it's in front of the mirror, because the image distance is greater than zero, we can tell that it is a real image. We can also figure out the magnification. Magnification equals negative Q, the image distance, over P, the object distance. So negative 4.0625 divided by the object distance, which was 6.5, the magnification equals. Please. Zero point seven one one five independent confirmation, zero point seven one one five. Yeah, negative 0. 0.65. Yeah, negative 0. 0.65. Negative. I'm, I'm sorry, negative 0.6, exactly 0. 65. 65, exactly. Okay, so with our arcane rounding rule, magnification is then going to be equal to negative 0. 0.62. Notice if you take Q over P centimeters divided by centimeters, you're going to get no dimensions, so the magnification is going to be negative 0. 0.625. Uh, this gives us actually two, uh, yes, we're good. We know because the magnification is less than zero, it's inverted. We know it is reduced because Charlotte what? Because? Well, we can see that from the ray diagram. I want to know what about the magnification tells us that it's reduced. absolute value is less than 1. Right. So because the absolute value is less than 1, we can see that it is reduced. Last thing, we can figure out the image height, because we know the magnification equals the image height over the object height. Therefore, the image height is equal to magnification multiplied by the object height. Image height is going to be equal to 0 0.625, the negative of, multiplied by the object height, which was 1.5 centimeters. Image height, please. 0 0.9375. 0 0.9375. Well, uh, and that's in centimeters, so the image height is equal to 0 0.94 centimeters. And if you measure it, it will work out to be approximately just less than one centimeter. Uh, so you don't use the negative for the image height? Uh, we should actually use the negative. Sorry. Thank you.